Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all appropriate ages, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, hope you're staying safe and healthy. So, yesterday, Predator Hunting Grounds update, or patch 2.39, launched, along with some new DLC and some new other bits and pieces, so let's go over the patch notes. Paid DLC, new playable Predator, the Emissary. Free content, new unlockable Predlocks, Tank at level 500. Uh, unlockable Predator skin, Aurora at level 500. New unlockable Dutch's Knife Shaders, Green Viper at level 155. Damascus Steel at level 160. Shard at level 165. Sunburst at level 170. And Violet at 175. And a new Exiled Predator Predlocks tint. Uh, general notes. Backwater Day variant has been re-enabled and will once again sharpen the map rotation. Fix an issue where certain cinematics were too dark in several maps. Fix an issue on headquarters where a certain ammo, ammo crate could not be interactable. Hmm. Predator general fixes. Fix an issue with the wolf predator mask appearing too dark in certain locations. Fix an issue where the wolf predator's skin pattern shaders would display incorrectly when previewing in the customization menu. Fix an issue where the Falconer Predator's face was not displaying the intended pattern. Fix an issue where the Exile Predator's Platinum and Steam exclusive armor had the same swatch in the customization menu. And as for gear, the wrist launcher has been lowered in the gear cost from 2 to 1, but they reduced the total ammo from 10 to 8. So I hope they also buffed the damage of it for you lot, because that sounds... Like a bit of a bitch. But I got back from work last night and this update was downloading. And I was looking at what a couple of other Predo content creators were saying about it. Uh, in particular, Samane13. Good content creator. Go follow him on YouTube. And... <clears throat> Apparently, there's still some severe issues with uh, frame rate drops, uh, which requires them to fuck about with their settings and drop graphics, uh, reduce resolution and all that bollocks. But also, some uh, people have been talking about how all their stats or well, not stats, all their customizations were reset. And some people are unable to get the Emissary Predator DLC. I checked the PlayStation Store, the Emissary Predator is there, but I've platinum the game, so I'm not going to buy it. But we're going to see... Okay, so it looks like I've still got my main two, but my boy Blue is there. That all looks pretty much identical. Golden Girl. Yeah. Little Crimson. Old Timer. Smiling Hish. The Green Horror. Platinum Peril. Mr. Black. Mrs. Black. <laughs> Who was actually the friendliest of my predators because there was that one game I played where everyone quit except for one person and I decided to help them out. We made a pretty good team. Quicksilver. Yeah, so none of my predator loadouts seem to have been affected or reset. So let's have a look at this MSO predator. Which I'm guessing yep would be at the top. There you are. This yacht should chose to remain hidden and watch the modern human warriors studying their tech and practices over the years. Gradually the predator stole and constructed armor and gear similar to that of a modern military combatant with a slight resemblance. This predator found he was able to elicit additional confusion and fear from human warriors perplexed with his unique but familiar armour. See, I don't know if they've changed the lore of that, because 
the Emissary Predator, there was technically two of. And we never got to see them because they were cut from the final cut of the 2018 Predator movie. There was meant to be two of them that fought alongside McKenna and the Loonies. And we never got to see them in the end. Because I think they had to reshoot the entire third part of the movie because of studio interruptions. Fucking, but the whole movie was a shit show anyway. So yeah, this is, they still released two action figures of the Emissary Predators. So now we're getting Predators that never got to see the light of day. But yeah, I can see it's wearing <laughs> it's wearing army gear and it's stylized its armor with military camouflage looking like it's armor plated just Kevlar so health is almost at full stamina just below half movement speed three quarters of the way and gear is at max they were able to just play with this one Because other than just leaked screenshots of what was shown before the movie came out of these and a couple of toys, there wasn't really much else to go along with it. And they were using, in some of the screenshots, human weapons. Like one of them was using an M249. But yeah, there's not much I can really say about this Predator. Because there's not much we know about it fully. Other than that, they were meant to. Where'd it go? Confusion and fear from human warriors, but it was meant to be fighting alongside them. So that feels like they've changed the law. But I wonder. Have they seen no? Unless you buy the DLC and it changes this, it would have been pretty sweet if it could have used the M249 in this game. But hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. That hasn't. Neither has that. Or that. Yeah, none of my loadouts changed. Maybe it was just a Steam or an Epic issue for players that can't access the DLC or handle their loadouts reset, but someone on PlayStation who still plays this game, let me know if it affected you lot. Oh, it's here, Clash. The RP-103 is pretty much the same weapon that the Emissary Predators were seen in screenshots using. Because that gun is based on the M249 saw. So, yeah. But, yeah, it still seems like there's a lot of patches that need to come out there needs to be one of Sam 13's viewers last night was talking about how they wish the developers of this game had similar to what Rainbow Six Siege had with an Operation Health event where they just took time away to put out any paid DLC and just solely did bug fixes because some of the day one bug fixes are still in here and still impact the game heavily. But I doubt Ilphonic listen. <clears throat> Last time they got in contact with me about anything and I gave them suggestions, it pretty much boiled down to them saying, no, but thank you for being part of the community. So, eh. And plus they're probably too focused on Arcade Again and 
coming to console in July and tweaking uh, the Ghostbusters game. But I'm still holding on to this game. Hopefully for future game modes that I talked about in a previous video. Uh, time will tell. Anyway, that's all for today and I'll see you all later.